Whoa, Black Barrel. Have a dram. Jameson Black Barrel. Irish whiskey. Let's have a dram and give it a shot. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Butcher's Block. I am your host, Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield, and I'm here today to talk about Jameson Black Barrel Irish Whiskey. What does this mean? What is this? This is Jameson Irish Whiskey that is triple distilled, and it is aged in bourbon barrels like Jameson already is, but they've added an extra char to the charred bourbon barrels. So this is a black barrel whiskey where they've awakened the char with a fresh char uh, in the barrel. So they dumped this in. It comes out at 80 proof, 40% alcohol by volume. There is no age statement on this that I can see. According to their marketing site that I can see, they age this in extra charred bourbon barrels and sherry casks. So I don't know which or how many or how long, I couldn't find detail, but the bourbon barrels are extra charred, meaning that they take the bourbon barrels they char Jameson regular in, an Irish whiskey in, and they add a char to it. Flame it up, get it going. MSRP on this, and I paid for this $29.99, 30 bucks. So reasonably priced, this seems to be available most everywhere. I've seen it in a lot of chain liquor stores, a lot of regular mom and pop liquor stores, about 30 to 35 bucks. I haven't seen it too much more than that. So it's reasonably priced almost everywhere that I can see. And, um, you know, I, I'm really curious to see how it drinks because when I was looking for images to put of this bottle, like up on, you know, the, the, the review page and all that stuff. And I found that there's actually an older version of this and it says that it's a select reserve Jameson black barrel. And there was a redesign to this in I think 2016. But as far as I can tell on the, the internet everywhere, there's no formula change and it's the same type of juice. Maybe it's different barrels. I don't know. But that stuff was MSRP $60, $70 as far as I could tell. And... I don't know what changed. Apparently the whiskey didn't change. Maybe the barrels changed or maybe the barrel charring changed or they got different process. I don't know. I can't find a bottle of that anywhere, obviously, to test against this, but half price of what that was, and this is more readily available. Now this doesn't have anywhere select reserve on it as far as I can tell, but it does say that it's a double charred bourbon uh, that delivers unique spiciness, sweetness, and nutty notes. And it's triple distilled Irish whiskey. So yeah, I don't see any special reserve or uh, select reserve uh, nomenclature. So I'm not sure. Now, one thing I will say is if you've been watching my quick cut videos, you know I've got a barrel and I've got it right over here. And I'll pull that out later because that's got Jameson sitting in the, I think, number four char uh, mini barrel that I have. And it's been sitting... Astute viewers, I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've touched uh, since I've touched it, since I've dumped it. I haven't really tried it, so I'm curious to see. I don't think it's going to be what's in as good as what's in here, but I'm hoping this is good anyway. So let's get to the review. Nothing more to say. I'm going to crack this, start drinking it. I'll talk about it, and then uh, we'll see what's in the barrel because I, I, I don't think it's going to be this, but uh, who knows? We'll see. Anyway. fan not a fan all right well i, I guess i'm reading the label there cheers to talk about it here we go okay out of the gate three stars let me explain my score you tell me if you agree but three stars i have a total of five as you know 
I think this is fine and at three stars, but I want to go over the breakdown so you understand what ranked where and why I gave what I gave. First of all, the nose, full star. The nose, the aroma, that first impression, full star. Here's why. I got caramel corn, vanilla, brown sugar, maple syrup. I got like a dark cherry, like a, like a really rich, sweet fruit, uh, like a candied fruit or a, or a dark cherry, uh, like cherry jubilee nose, like just really dark, sweet fruit. But all I got was that caramel richness in the aroma, the vanilla, a little bit of nuttiness to it. And it's really quite nice but there's not there is it wasn't spicy if at 80 proof there's a little bit of ethanol more than i expected and uh but the richness of the flavors came through you can tell the bourbon influence unmistakably but there's a note of that floral sweet irish whiskey behind it and that's where i think they got it got that like richness in the sweetness so the aroma was really good full star the primal half star and here's why I don't think it was bad. It drinks underwhelmingly at 80 proof, but I don't want to say it's thin, but where I got flavor is I got a sweetness and that dark richness in the aroma I did get, but I got caramel, brown sugar, like a nutmeg, a little bit of spice and nutmeg, not much else. I didn't get any fire or pepper. There, there's really no burn. Uh, I got like a, uh, like that floral Irish whiskey flavoring. I don't know the sweetness. I got the like a blueberry compote. It's very tempered. It's not bright sweet and it's not floral. It's just like a dark sweetness and it's very subtle because there's a brown butter richness to it that's good. I'm not gonna say it's thin, but that's pretty much what's there and it's good to sip. I didn't have a problem with it, but the tail, the finish, the aftertaste, the primal kind of informed the tail in that the finish I gave a half star and it just flat out disappears. And so that's also a half star. So the, the primal and the tail are both half star because the taste was there and it bites, but then it just kind of like gone. And that the finish itself is just really just weak and then disappears. So you get that sweetness and it's fine to sip. At, at this price point in the proof, you could sip this, no problem. It's a little like a one dimensionally sweet, but if you like that like caramel nuttiness, um, vanilla nuttiness uh, with like that Irish, it's Irish whiskey, but it's deeper. So it's not, it's compelling, it's good. But I, caught, I started going to think like, what would it be in a cocktail? Or like eggnog maybe, and I don't know, maybe, maybe you don't add Irish whiskey to eggnog, but this almost has like a, like a dark sweetness to it of like a richness, like a caramel sweetness that you'd want that. The trimmings I gave a full star, and here's why. It's a cool idea. You can definitely taste the extra char, and, and there's a bourbon component to it. So whatever that char is, it obviously brightened it up a little bit. This is 30 bucks, 35 bucks. You could get one of these and sip it all day with friends. Um, you could make cocktails out of it. It's a sweeter, richer dimension to Jameson. And it's not, it's not a bad thing, I, especially for the price. So the trimmings got me on that because for bang for the buck, 80 proof, almost anybody can sip this straight and enjoy it. You put a couple ice cubes in it, you'll have a great day like this, especially for friends. It's a great way to drink something good for cheap. I ended up with three stars and honestly for 30 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong with this. So now, now that this is scored and we've seen where it ends up, let me drag my barrel over here. Now, now that we've seen where this adds up and how it stacks on the, on the review, let's try this, my Jameson concoction in the barrel and see how this has ended up. Um, I'm a little curious about this because I have not had this at all yet. So this will be the first tasting. And, uh, Okay, it doesn't smell like that. Actually, it doesn't really. It doesn't smell bad. It's not great, but it's definitely a little bit. It's a little oakier than regular Jameson. Okay, this is much better. So, this gets no stars yet. Maybe we'll come back to that. But, okay, I tried my. I'm going to keep this in the barrel a little longer and see if we can get some magic going. But, yeah. Mm. So far, not impressed. This, I was impressed by. I think three stars is fair. 
I think it's a good, uh, if you're grabbing an Irish whiskey, I think this is something a little different. And if you're a bourbon fan, this will definitely be in your wheelhouse compared to maybe, I'm sure you love other Irish whiskeys. I know I do. This may be a little bit more bourbon adjacent because of the, the black barrel char method that they're using. So that said, tip your bartenders. They'll always have stuff like this for you to try and you should be exploring these and seeing what you think. Comment up. Thanks for watching. Catch me on Instagram, Ben Richards BB. Tip those bartenders. Take care. Talk to you soon. This doesn't smell bad. It doesn't taste bad. But it's not good. Like it's okay. like I wouldn't I wouldn't serve it to any of you astute viewers. So back in the barrel for you. We'll try again in a couple weeks.